Um, you know, a little sluggish start. Uh, maybe had a. Oh, am Are I we, being joined? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. all right, come on, man. <laughs> um, you know, a little sluggish start. Maybe still a little bit of a hangover from Thursday's loss. Uh, I know I still kind of was feeling it a little bit. Uh, you know, we'd had a great run there. Been over a month since we had lost a game, and uh, it was a tough loss. And uh, you know, maybe that affected us some, but. I thought after the first quarter we settled down, uh, did a much better job taking care of the ball, getting back in transition D, and uh, I think the fans made a big difference too. I think uh, the energy they bring and uh, just so appreciative of, of NC State fans. I mean, they're, they're the best. So, uh, you know, ended up being a good win. A lot of people contributed, and um, so a good day. Coach, you must have been really thrilled with the rebounder. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've done a great job all year. And, uh, uh, you know, I think everyone's bought into it and contributed to it. Obviously, Erica Cassell's been doing a great job the last couple of games, uh, both games, double digits and rebounds. Chelsea always uh, uh, great in that area. And then, you know, Ely uh, from the point position to go in and get eight is also uh, pretty impressive. But, again, I think it's a team effort. Uh, you know, uh, just again, you got to make it a priority, and I, I think they've done that, and it's made a big difference for us. Coach, you won a rivalry game too, this emphatically. Does that make it a little more special? Well, I, you know, I I'm more concerned about our our entire resume. Uh, you know, obviously we're we're neighbors, and uh, it's always a big game uh, when we play each other. But at the same time, I think uh, looking at the big picture. Uh, this was uh, a win we needed uh, to bounce back with and uh, try to gain some momentum going down the stretch. Your resume now has 20 wins. How thrilled are you with that? And this is probably, yeah. it's got to be higher than what was projected going into the year. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm proud of this group. Uh, as proud of them as any, any team I've had because, uh, uh, as you said, not a lot was expected. Even uh, even Debbie, she'd probably get mad at me for saying this, even Debbie thought I was nuts when I met with her before the season and told her my my aspirations for this team. Uh, but uh, they've kind of they kind of got my back so far and you know we're not there yet. still still some work to do. Coach, what were those aspirations? What What's were those aspirations that, that you talked to? Everybody? Well, I mean, again, uh, we're doing a good job with it. So. <laughs> You know, I just, I, I guess essentially every year, uh, I, I expect us to get, you know, get at the 20 win column and, uh, and get into the NCAA tournament and see what we can do. And uh, not saying we're there yet. Obviously, like I said, we've got some, some games coming up that are big and we need to, to uh, finish it off. But uh, great job of getting us in this position. At this point in the schedule, a lot of teams are tightening up with their starters and who's coming off the bench. Minutes are increasing maybe for some. Yeah. Uh, Coach Hatchell called you guys athletic and, you know, the energy. How good do you feel about your team's athleticism, the uh, endurance at this point, you know, heading into the end of the season and into, you know, ACC play tournament-wise anyways and beyond? Yeah, I mean, it helps when, you know, you got Armani Hawkins coming in off the bench and hitting four threes. That helps. Erica Cassell coming off the bench and getting 12 rebounds. She had 11 Thursday night. Uh, those things help. Uh, we need some depth. Uh, you know, I, again, uh, you know, I've heard Coach Szeski say, you know, this time of year, your best players have to play a lot of minutes. And uh, so I, I definitely try to get our best lineup out there and, and go with those. As uh, growing up in Texas, Daryl Royal, Great football coach once said, we're going to dance with the one that brung us. So uh, we're kind of dancing with the ones that got us to this point. But uh, it's great to see Armani giving us some help there. Uh, we're going to need that. We need to rotate the guards some. And uh, like I said, Eric has done a nice job last couple of games. So it's exciting to see us heading that way. And kind of picking up on that ace one at the beginning of the season, I was asking who's picking up the leadership on the team. And you, you said it was going to be by committee. Is it still working by committee, or are we all? Are you guys all dancing together, or is it kind of 
couple of people leading people to the dance like Coach is talking about? I think everybody takes on a different role, and without them taking on that role, we don't function as a unit. And there's not really, I mean, we have great seniors who uh, always play really hard and expect a lot from us. And uh, that helps drive us, but I don't think there's anybody trying to take control. We're really feeding off of each other, and as you can see throughout the year, we always have a different scoring leader. We always have that, and we're just going to play with each other and try and do our best for the team. We're not worried about who's leading us. We're just doing our part. Ace, what was the difference tonight? You're coming off a, not a great performance in Miami. I think you were 2 for 13. Uh, what was the difference aside from the home court advantage? Ouch, taking a shot. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't ask that. <laughs> um, I mean, after a game's over, I let go of it. It's in the past. I can't do anything to change it. I make sure that I come into the next practice focused and prepared. And, you know, I um, had a lot of opportunities to shoot the ball today. And fortunately, my teammates found me. And I had prepared myself and let go of the past. And today it was a good day. And Miami was a bad day. And hopefully we have more good days than bad days. I think where I was going with that was, was there anything different about the defense you saw Thursday versus what you were seeing today that maybe helped a little bit as far as getting you more open shots? Um, Miami played uh, a zone that ha happened to just have a guard most of the time standing by me. Mm -hmm. And um, that makes it a little bit more difficult. But at the end of the day, I, gotta, I still took a lot of shots in that game, and I got to hit them. And there's nothing that will change that. Whether or not the defense is there or not, I should hit the open shots that I get. Very mature attitude. I let it go. I move on. I wish I could do that. I'm still throwing up, you know? So I wish I could be more mature. Thank you, Ace. That's a very nice example. You're welcome. When I come off the bench cold like that and hit, hit the, the three-pointers, um, it takes a, it's a, a special thought process, possibly, or just what was a good day for you? Um, it felt good. I was. Um, it was very exciting uh, to be able to do that for my team, and I'm just glad I can contribute to my team in any way. Like I, I'm happy to contribute any way that I can. And today it was shooting, um, and I have to give it to my teammates for finding me and making a good pass. And I'm glad I could hit the shots for them. Is it hard coming off the bench and hitting those shots as opposed to a starter who probably you know gets gets more opportunities as the game goes on? Um, no. I think it. When I get in the game, I'm just. I'm just focusing. I'm not focusing on like, oh, I just got off the bench. Um, like, I, I just feel relaxed. If the shot's open and I can hit it, I'll take it. Um, yeah, I just. She's focused on shooting. <laughs> she has no conscious, okay? <laughs> but that's good. We, we need yeah, somebody that can do that, that can come in and feels confident she's going to knock shots down. So uh, she really doesn't have a, uh, have a whole lot of uh, conscious there worrying about what happened. She moves on. Question for Hawkins. How is the whole NC State thing? I mean, you just won a rivalry game. You're on a team that's won 20 games. How has this experience been so far for you? I love it. I love this team. Um, I'm glad uh, he gave me the opportunity to come here, play. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. Most of the time. Except it's, when Coach Moore's on you. But it's, it's good. It's love. I love. <laughs> uh, do you, how? Much of an impact do you think the second quarter had when you guys held them to only six points? Usually your big turnaround happens in the third quarter, but you guys managed to cut them off only in the second. Is that for me? For anyone. Uh, you don't want to answer that? I mean, it gives us momentum. Yeah. They, you know, they were missing some shots that they usually make, and we were uh, playing pretty good defense. and. Um, I think that it gives us some momentum, but it's also super early, so we can't let up at that point. It's early in the game, it's early in uh, the offense, everything, so you know, you just got to give it some more time and feed off of that energy, but don't get caught up in it. I, mean, I thought it was big, because obviously we struggled in the first quarter, and they, did, they, they really did a great job in transition on us in the first quarter. And so I thought it was big that we uh, kind of, as, as was mentioned, turned the momentum around, got the crowd into it, uh, because you just don't want to let uh, a team in the ACC hang around. And it, it being a one or two possession game, uh, you, you want to avoid that if at all possible. So 
I thought it was big for us to uh, have a, and that third quarter was pretty good too. So it was good to kind of get a little bit of breathing room there and, and some momentum. Why wasn't Didi the best? What's that? Why wasn't Didi the best? Didi's, uh, if, if, if what game? The last home game, uh, her and Ely bumped heads. So she is going through the, I guess it's okay for me to say, concussion protocol uh, has been going through that. So luckily, lucky, luckily, Ely has a harder head, I guess, because she's she was able to uh, bounce back from it. But uh, yeah, so that's she's uh, missed the last two games because of that. Does that mean 